I'm just going to quickly go over how to edit any texture in Portal 2 that you want. So first of all, in the description, there will be a link to a Google Drive download, and it'll be of this. Just click the blue button. And this is just a zipped folder with all the different tools you might need uh, to edit the files. So open it. You can drag this folder out. And then in here are all the different tools. So first things first, you want to install GCFscape here. This is going to be so you can actually access the files. Right, and then you also want to install VTF Edit. I would recommend you click both of these uh, checkboxes here. Right now, next thing you want to do is you're going to want to find your Portal 2 folder. So that can be found at wherever Steam is installed, and then Steam Apps, Common, Portal 2, Portal 2. And then you just scroll down until you find PACO1 underscore dir vpk this file right here. So you open GCFscape, and then you can just drag the dir into here. Now it might take a bit of hunting to find whatever texture you're looking for. Or you could just ask in the Discord. So, the texture I'm looking for is the moon, which I already know is in materials, and then skybox. So, you also want to remember the file path of the texture as well. So, the moon is in materials, and then skybox. Uh, skybox. Uh, and it's right here. Make sure the VTFs are the actual textures, the VMTs are just like text files that you, you don't need to mess with them. So, just just you only need the VTF. So you can just drag this out into your folder to export it. And then when you double click on it, VTF header will open. You can see that's the texture of the moon. And then you need to go to File, Export, and then change this to PNG, and then you can save it. So here it is. It's a PNG file, and it's just the moon texture. Then you can use whatever you want to edit this. So I'm going to just use uh, paint.net. Uh, I guess I'll just, there you go, smiley face on the moon now, I can save it. So now we have our edited moon texture here, and then to put this back into the game, you want to, so if you remember the file path that it was, that your texture was in, so mine was in materials, and then skybox, you need to remember that, make a folder called pack. 01 underscore dir, same name as the vpk file here, and then open it, and then you want to recreate the file path uh, from the where the texture is. So materials, and then inside this is skybox. And then you need to open vtf edit, go to file, import, and then double click your uh, edited texture, push ok, and then you go to file, save, and then make sure you name it exactly the same. So you have moon card, a one a dot vtf or whatever, whatever your texture is called. And save. Yes, overwrite it. So now right here, this is your edited texture. And then you just want to uh, cut it and paste it into this complete file path. Now, take your pack a one dir, drag it onto the vpk application. And then you'll have pack a one or dr at vpk. One thing to know is that you can um, make multiple, like retexture multiple things. You'll just have to like recreate all the different file paths inside this pack a one dir folder, and just place all the different edited textures in their proper positions before you make the pack before you drag this onto the vpk. Do not like replace this one. You want to go back one folder. And then make create a new folder, call it portal two underscore DLC three, and then put the VPK you just made into that, and then you're done. So now you just boot up the game, 
And then what this is doing is it's building a sound cache, so you just have to wait a little bit. Just wait till all the dots on the bottom right turn yellow. So all the dots are now yellow. You just open your console, type quit, and then reopen the game. And now we can see if I go to Finale 4, that the moon will look retextured. Yep, there it is. There's our retextured moon. So yeah, that's how you do it.